What's up, Eagle fans? Anthony Romo here with another player profile. Pleased to be joined by Hubbard sophomore shortstop Andrew Cayley today. Andrew, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So very big news came down very recently. You were named first team all Northeast eight conference just as a sophomore. Is that something that you were striving for coming into the season or is that something that just kind of happened? Oh, I was definitely striving for it. Uh, I last year, the freshman, um, my freshman baseball season, I took pictures of last year's uh, first team. I put it as my wallpaper. I looked at it every day, used it as motivation, and it feels so good to make it this year, just one year later. So your stats on the year, you batted 471 on the year, which is outstanding for any player, but really excellent for a sophomore. 23 RBIs for the Eagles. You guys won 13 and nine on the season. Just looking back, what did you learn the most um, from your sophomore season? Um, I learned that our team, I mean, we, we're just a big, like, bonding group. We love to play with each other. We have so much fun. Um, I got so much closer with everyone, and we're a really young team, and we have a really bright future, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I know you talked about the bonding of the group. I know because I played for Hubbard Baseball myself when I was in high school. We always like to – take a little trip early on in the season. I know we went to Tennessee a few times um, during my playing days. I know you guys made a little trip down South, but you stayed in the state of Ohio. Just what was your favorite memory from that trip early on in the season? Um, my favorite memory was that second game we won. Uh, we played two games against the same team. Um, the first game, it didn't go our way. We were kind of off. And then we all just got together and we're like, all right, we didn't come down here for no reason. And we just, uh, everyone did their own thing, and we won. And it felt really good to beat that team that we lost to first game. And now I know I was able to do a Hubbard, a couple Hubbard games for YSN this season. I know just talking to Mr. Hogue, the athletic director at Hubbard, and around just the fans that are at all the games, they always talk about your play in the field. They say you're like a vacuum cleaner in the field, never let anything get by you. Is that something that you pride on? Is um, your play in the field, or is it just every play you kind of just do your job? Oh, it's definitely something I pride on as well. I, I work on fielding as much as I do as hitting. Um, my trainer, Jim Devine, he, he helps me out so much with hitting and fielding, and it's just something that I do not overlook, and I love doing, and I just completely try my best every single time. Now you play the position of shortstop, which is one of obviously one of the most crucial positions on – the baseball diamond is that a position that you played growing up or did you play a couple different positions and now you've kind of just moved into this one as your main role um when i was growing up i played second first third outfield pretty much everywhere except catcher and short and when i got to high school coach john john he said hey how about you try out short and i was like yeah like i'm i'm interested in that and ever since then I, i've loved it and i feel really comfortable there and I'm just looking the forward playing, looking forward to playing there every day, every game. If there were any other position on the field, so let's say you go out before a game, coach tells you you get to pick where you can play. What's your second favorite position to play at? Uh, probably second base. You know, same thing, just other side of the second base. Um, you know, I just love being in the middle infield and having most of the action. I love it. So we talked about the trip down a little bit south early on in the beginning of the season. Like I said, you guys went 13-9 and nine on the season, not the ending that you guys had hoped for um, in the sectionals, losing the Niles, but just as a whole on the season, what was your favorite memory um, just from the team this sophomore season? Uh, my favorite memory was probably the game against Warren Harding at Eastwood. That I felt that game I felt like we just got like on a roll. Like, like we were winning six or seven games – in a row we were all just we were on fire and it just felt so good and it was in front of a big stage and everyone got in and everyone did a job and it just felt really good as a whole now we had talked about this in a post-game interview um when i interviewed you after you guys went against struthers earlier on this season for those people that don't know just talk a little bit about what your plans are for this summer and um the big trip that you're going on yeah so uh, a couple of months ago i sent out an email to the university of virginia uh, just sending them a uh, video and stats from last year and that I'm interested in their program and they got, or they saw it and they watched the video and they liked it and they 
I was fortunate enough to get invited on this trip. It's a week long trip in the Dominican Republic. Um, college scouts will be there. Uh, other high school players will be there and Kansas City Royal Scouts will be there. And then a day is designated to do community service in the capital. And it's just truly a blessing that I got to you know, get this opportunity and I'm really looking forward to it. So it just shows that hard work really pays off. That's a long travel going down the Dominican yeah. Republic. Will this be your first time leaving the country? Yes, yes it will. Are there any nerves going into that or are you more excited than anything? Uh, a little bit of both. Um, a little nervous because, you know, the Dominican, they, they produce more MLB players than any other country. And, um, you know, there's definitely going to be some amazing talent down there. But at the same time, I mean, I'm in the Dominican playing baseball. I mean, it, it doesn't get much better than that. So a little bit of both. Yeah, like you said, that'll be a big task. Going down, there's probably going to be a lot of major Division One talent down there now. That's a big opportunity for you to prove yourself. And it seems like you're one that strives off of motivation, really anything you can get. Just talk about the playing side of things. Like you said, you're going far away from home. Is that is this an opportunity for you to you say just focus on the game and really give it your all here? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, if I I mean I, I just keep striving as much as I can and to go down there and you know just do the best I possibly can, I think it'll be a huge stepping stone in my just career. Like to play at the college level, get my name out even more and just impress coaches. You talked about playing at the college level. Have you kind of got into the recruiting process yet, even though you're still a sophomore? Or is that still a little ways away? Uh, I've gotten into it as much as I can, or as much as I can. Um, I've been sending out emails. Uh, coaches have been contacting me about camps and other stuff, um, and then this trip, obviously. But I'm just doing as much as I can right now. Uh, after the September first deadline um, coming up in September you know, stuff should open up more and, you know, get more of what I want to see, like offers or something. So looking forward to that. Now, a few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to interview a very good friend of yours, Jake Hetrick. You guys used to play mm -hmm. at Hubbard together. Now Jake's doing yep. his thing at Warren JFK. And I talked to Jake off off the field side of things with um, Inspire More Athletes. Now I know you're with Jake um, within the organization, within the brand. I want to talk about your side of inspire more athletes what is your goal um with this organization our goal is to just truly just help any athlete or anyone with any mental health because mental health is something that is very overlooked and it could be sports your job daily life anything and jake and i we were in my room one night and we just decided like hey if we did this like th this could go real like a far away and we you know we created it we promoted it and now we're here and we are just trying to grow it as much as possible to help as many people now i remember i was actually talking to jake even before the interview when you guys were thinking about starting this jake was telling me about the idea and it, it took off i'm not gonna yeah. lie it took off when you guys first created it just how was the feeling like for you when you saw so many people jumping on board with it and really gathering around you guys and uh, helping you out with this it's i mean it felt amazing i mean we we first like launched and everybody was just so supportive and reposting and sharing and the people reaching out like, we, you know, they'll do anything to help us. And it just it really made me feel good, me and Jake. And it just realizes that, you know, the community is there and they're here to back us up. And it, we're all in this together. Now, we like to end off some of our player profiles with a little round of quick fire questions. So just to start it off, what's your favorite pregame meal? Um, Probably ravioli that, that's a good choice I'm, I'm a ravioli fan myself and then also what just what's your favorite song to listen to on the way to the game to really get you in your mode um probably straight bars by kodak black that's my favorite okay, kodak fan i enjoy that and then what's your favorite college baseball team aside from recruiting and everything what's a team that you would love to just go out and watch in your free time uh coastal carolina definitely for sure and then aside from the college aspect of things, just what's your favorite MLB team to uh, that you grew up watching and that you really love watching to this day? Oh, the Cleveland Guardians. They're definitely my favorite. I've always loved them. And I know you're a shortstop yourself. And, of course, Francisco Lindor used to play for the Guardians, then Indians for a while, um, starting out his career with them. What's your favorite MLB player? 
Um, I would say Jazz Chisholm Jr. from the Marlins. I just came after him. All right. Well, Andrew, thank you for joining us. I was glad to have you here. This was a YSN player profile with Andrew Cayley. Um, to go on to our website, you can check out the interview as well as our story that will follow. And Andrew, thank you for joining us.